I'm actually surprised at how effective apple cider vinegar can regulate and change insulin sensitivity, blood sugar levels. We're going to get into some of that because you'll see some of these articles that are kind of geared towards moms or just women in general. Like here's all these weight loss miracles and it will discuss using apple cider vinegar as a weight loss remedy, which on the surface seems kind of silly and it seems like there's no way that's possible. But right. you and I were looking mm-hmm. into the research and this is totally true. What apple right. cider vinegar do can, can do mm-hmm. to help with blood sugar. So let's talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the biggest things that we look at in functional medicine world is going to be blood sugar stability and or insulin sensitivity slash insulin resistance. So Blood sugar, the more we can keep blood sugar relatively stable in between meals, there's going to be less surges of insulin on the high side and less surges of adrenaline and cortisol on the low side. So by just keeping blood sugar relatively stable, we prevent a lot of our adrenal and pancreas from having to come to the rescue to help buffer the highs and lows. So of course we make dietary changes, you know, protein, you know, eating more good quality protein and fat, having carbohydrates adjusted to our macronutrient needs, right? If someone's more insulin resistant, we'll adjust carbohydrates, focus more on non-starchy vegetables versus uh, starch and fruit. Now, that being said, there may be extra supplements we use to help improve insulin sensitivity on top of that. We may use things like magnesium, vanadium, chromium, gymnema, various berberines, but apple cider vinegar is shown in many studies to have a similar effect as metformin, which is kind of an extract from a French lilac flower. But metformin has great ability of decreasing glucohepatic uptake, decreasing gluconeogenesis, a glucogastric uptake, meaning less glucose absorbed through the intestine, less glucose being produced by the liver. So apple cider vinegar has some great benefits in that. It actually is shown to reduce insulin secretions and blood sugar in that first hour after eating. And that's really where most of the insulin and blood sugar is going to bump up is that first hour. So for instance, one study showed reduced blood sugar by 34% after eating 50 grams of white bread. I have one study here in the journal of the American Diabetic Association called vinegar improves insulin sensitivity to a high carbohydrate meal in subject with insulin resistance. And just looking at the graph here, you see a significant reduction in insulin levels, 55% in subjects with diabetes compared to the other. So fasting glucose concentrations were 55% more elevated in the group that did not have apple cider vinegar. So great benefits there. A lot of that is happening via acetic acid and its effect on the insulin receptor sites and its effect on the liver producing glucose and on the effect of the intestines absorbing that glucose. Pretty cool. It seems too easy. You just do some apple cider vinegar with your meal times and you're going to be better. It sounds like too, let's say you were more lower carbohydrate, even into ketogenic diet, and you want to go do some carbohydrates. You want to eat a big, big sweet potato, but you don't want to have as big of a glucose spike. Sounds like this would be a good time to whip out a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, throw some lemon juice in there with it, a little bit of water and drink it down. 100%. 